Hi, welcome back to the second part of herpetic keratitis where I cover the therapy of the disease. Let's start with antiviral agents. The most common antiviral agents are acyclovir and gancyclovir. Acyclovir can provincially inhibit HSV DNA by binding to DNA polymerase and acting as a chain terminator. Acyclovir has been the mainstay of systemic treatment for HSV for several decades. Gertrude Alien and George Hitchens received the Nobel Prize for the development of acyclovir among other drugs in 1988. Gancyclovir at a dose of 400 mg 5 times daily, therapeutic aqueous humor levels can be achieved. Gancyclovir was also noted to be significantly better tolerated by patients and was approved by the FDA in 2009 as an ophthalmic gel. There are some indications for oral antivirals. Patients with frequently recurrent infectious epithelial keratitis and post-penetrating keratoplasty patients with history of HSV keratitis. Patients who experience two or more episodes of infectious epithelial keratitis per year may be candidates for prophylactic treatment with oral acyclovir 400 mg twice a day. And val acyclovir 500 mg once daily can also be used as a prophylaxis. There are some advantages of oral antivirals over topical antivirals. The first is use of topical antivirals agents does not prevent the recurrence of infectious epithelial keratitis. And the second, chronic usage of topical antivirals uh, leads to toxic keratopathy and conjunctival scarring. In this slide is presented a summary of herpetic eye disease study which provides us valuable insight in dealing with treatment and prognostic dilemmas in patients with herpetic keratitis. So oral antiviral prophylaxis reduces recurrences of epithelial and of stromal keratitis, particularly stromal with a history of recurrence. Use of topical corticosteroids is of benefit in stromal keratitis and use of oral acyclovir may be also a help in iridocyclitis patients. Please note that HEADS has also established that long-term, approximately one year, oral antiviral therapy with a dose of acyclovir 400 mg twice a day can reduce the recurrence of epithelial keratitis as well as stromal keratitis. Corticosteroids. They suppress the immune response of the cornea due to HSV Keratitis. There are some advantages of steroid use, which includes the inhibition of cellular infiltration, opacification, inhibition of scarring, release of toxic enzymes, and neovascularization. These advantages of um, steroids use include the exacerbation and spread of active viral infection, stimulation of viral replication, enhancement of collagenolytic enzyme production, and corneal thinning. Strategies for initial management, for example, of infectious epithelial keratitis. As a step one, physical gentle debridement of the ulcer with a sterile cotton-tipped applicator can be very beneficial. Then start with the topical antiviral medications every three hours. Additionally, you can also prescribe as a prophylaxis a broad-spectrum antibiotic with a topical cycloplegics in case of significant photophobia or ciliary spasm as well as corticosteroids only in case of severe immune stromal inflammation. And additionally, I personally always start with oral antiviral therapy um, as an additional therapy to their topical medications. Strategy for neurotrophic keratopathy. As step one, uh, discontinuation of all unnecessary topical medications, especially topical antivirals. Step two, frequent use of non-preserved artificial tears, additional prophylaxis with a broad spectrum antibiotic. In severe cases of a boggy rolled epithelium, gentle debridement can be also uh, a benefit. In case of secondary inflammation, topical corticosteroids can be also carefully added. As a step three, therapeutic soft contact lens in, can, in case of non-healing neurotrophic ulcer, short term, of course. And step four, surgical or medical with botulinum toxin, tarsorophy or conjunctival flap. 
Surgical management in HSC keratitis is indicated in case of non-healing ulcer as well as in case of severe scarring, which leads to a significantly reduced visual acuity. Surgical management includes temporary or permanent tarsorephy, conjunctival flap, amniotic membrane, penetrated keratoplasty, lamellar keratoplasty, as well as distimate membrane endothelial keratoplasty. Here we can see a sample of a patient who benefited from penetrating keratoplasty, and here we can see a graft, but the patient has unfortunately a herpes recurrence. There are some complications of the transplantation in herpetic eyes, which includes corneal graft rejection, herpes recurrences within the graft, persistent epithelial defect, corneal melting, as well as secondary infection and graft failure. This was a second part of herpetic keratitis, which covered the therapy. Thank you for watching. Till the next video, stay positive, stay healthy. Bye.